Okay, welcome back. So what we're going to try and do today is we introduced last time the different tags such as heading, italics, paragraph, alternative versions to the B tag, the bold tag, such as these ones right here, strong, and then EM, which was an alternative to the italic tag. Now what we're going to do, because our background's quite plain, isn't it? It's got a white background. We're going to introduce some color to it. And our web pages are always defined with a dot HTML, but our style pages are defined with CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Now, if we click over to our style sheet for our web page, we can clearly see background color white. And if you're following along with the Raspberry Pi tutorials, we're up to controlling how it looks. So what we're going to do first is we're going to switch the white to light sky blue. Copy that over and we'll replace white with light sky blue. And as you look at that, we've changed the color of the page to light sky blue. We move down the page, it actually adds some extra rules to how the text looks. Add two lines inside curly braces or R brackets. Let's copy this box here. And we'll replace that box with this one. Look at that. So we can see what's happened. Because we've changed the font family from Helvetica, it's gone from Times New Roman to Helvetica. We've also changed, kept the background color at a light sky blue, but we've changed the text color to purple. Say if I change this to something like yellow, look at that, it changes it to yellow. Or I've changed this to black. We can see the change. Now, say if we wanted to add different colors. Going back to our Raspberry Pi tutorial, so a different color between our heading and our paragraph tag, we would select this box here because we can see heading, the color being orange, and the font family being Times New Roman. So let's copy that now and see what happens. So we'll put it down on line eight. As a result, changed podcasting to an orange hue. If we wanted to do the same logic with our paragraph tags, so we've changed our podcasting heading tag to orange, we would have to create one that bases around the paragraph, the P tag. So if we go to the second line, we have an error here. And it says it's already been defined, which it has. So we change that to a P. And we can see it's made it orange and times in Roman. But if we wanted to change that back to Helvetica, simply just have to click the bell and change the color. Let's say to black. If we want more options with our color, we can go back to our imaging colored page, a hexadecimal one to be precise, and go to this link here, HTML color codes, which will take us to this website here. So say I wanted a very particular shade of purple. I really like that shade. I would take whatever value this little hash key has next to it, select it, copy it, and bring it over to my trinket. I'll change the orange to that color. And give it the hash key, which is shift. As a result, we can see, look, I've got that deep purple color there. This will allow us 
heaps more options, thousands, tens of thousands of different unique colors we can pick. So have this handy if you want to style your package. And that brings you to the end of controlling how it looks.